last episode of Banner Brothers was episode seven, The Breaking Point. We was, it was winter time, it was so cold. It was a lot of us freezing, it was a lot of us, a lot of us confused, we was under pressure. Um, I can only imagine being frozen cold and have to worry about being shot and have to worry about being, you know, fighting back. Suffering that they have to go through of not having a, enough bullets and not having enough food, enough boots to where we have to take it off different people's bodies when they're, when they pass. And that hurts. That hurts to watch. It, it's, a, it's, it's a lot that's, that hurts me to watch this. Um, the legs being blown up, the officers losing their minds. A lot of them not even, I think it was, was it Lieutenant Dyke, the one that wasn't taking it serious, but we was in the middle of war, like battle. That was crazy to me. Like that was just beyond me. Um, yeah, Easy Company had it hard. They had it hard. And the dangerous combat of it and what lies ahead. So let's get into this episode A. Of course, are we gonna talk about it or ignore it? I feel like we should talk about it. Give me your opinions down below. Give me more inputs. If I missed something, let me know that too. So I can get the bigger picture so I can know more. With that being said, let's jump into this episode eight. This one's called The Last Patrol. And then we have two more episodes, so stay tuned. You have a feeling you're gonna live through the war. It's just a gut feeling, but everybody had that feeling. I believe I might be able to live through it Take care of yourself. The 101st Airborne had been made famous by what it did in the Battle of the Bulge, with sounds of the war still coming from just across the river. I had missed Bastogne. When I was finally able to rejoin... I know that's what they want, for it to be over. To ...help win the war. I'm sorry, sir. My name's David Webster. I just got back from the hospital. He's too happy. Can't be everybody. They're really short-handed. Yeah, right. Report to second, Webster. They'll find a place for you. You missed out on a lot being in the hospital. Hey, guys. Jackson, help me up, will you? We left Holland four months ago. Well, I wasn't there the whole time. It was rehabilitation. I don't know how I would have done that. Well, it's funny, because Popeye found a way. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Bill got hit. Blew his whole leg off. Sarge. Spears. What happened to Captain Winters? He's running the whole battalion now. So easy, company. Everything changed. <laughs> to go along with all the other new faces. How long have you uh, been sick? Long enough. Yeah, but yeah, ammonia's dangerous too. Lieutenant Jones looking for Captain Spears. He's on his way, sir. Why don't you uh, sit down? Can you give me a coffee? Would you like a coffee, sir? No, thank you. What platoon are you in? Oh, we're about to find that out. I'm just trying to make myself useful, sir. It's an op. Regiment wants patrol for prisoners. Up the embankment. We know it's occupied. You can have 15 men. Think very hard about who you want to lead the patrol. Who are you? Lieutenant Jones, sir. Right, our West Pointer. <laughs> All right, don't get hurt. Yes. Captain, request permission to go on the patrol. No. You don't have any experience. Private Webster from 1st Platoon. I just got back from the hospital and L Lieutenant Foley told me to go to 2nd, but Sergeant Malarkey said... Fine, 2nd. <laughs> Shit, they spotted us! You think? I don't know, I think so. Yeah, they definitely spotted us. Hi. I do not want to see no more legs blown off. Want some coffee? 15. 15 what? Louis since D-Day. Is this kid out of high school yet? He's out of West Point. Spell it. Captain Spears is to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Just give us the names, Webb. Who? Who? And you. you? Want any other guys from any other platoon? No. Oh, I, I don't know. Not that I know of. Heffron and Ramirez. <laughs> They already know. I'll tell them. I just need Listen to up. There is a patrol set for tonight. <laughs> so far, Who's Spears wants to clung. No. Yeah, we've just fucking heard. Now we're in a nice warm house. Also, we might die in the shower. Well, let's move. Clear out. What the hell? Tillery, when they're huddled in a foxhole. Is that food on him? Like he was Bill Keen, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one building into another. Oh, I said in a blink of an eye, everything can change. 
That gives me bad anxiety just thinking about that. Like, <laughs> somebody. So second platoon. I swear to God, if we were down to three guys, they still want us for it. And he listened. Oh Lieutenant God. Jones wanted to experience combat before the war was over. Don't welcome as a hot shower and a fresh uniform. Is that what he wants? The decision, though, was not theirs to make. Oh. Uh, you gotta be shitting me. What's up, guys? Like we do at the place, George. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did good, huh? How you All feeling? Right. As long as you keep your hands off my ass, I'll be fine. Have our issues. Was <laughs> welcome back, Frank. Yeah, oh, Jesus, that reminds me, Webb. I need you to run these dopey two for me. Grenade launches for the night patrol, huh? Make yourself beautiful. Watch this shit for me, all right? Webb, you come with me. Sergeant's Captain Spear is going to be where you're headed. Uh, same vicinity, yeah. About the patrol, I feel that I should go on the patrol, sir. I know I could use the experience. Denied again? You're not going to lead that patrol, Lieutenant Jones. Captain Winters. Yes. I'd really like to be on that patrol, sir. You too? If it's true, the crowds are finished. Absolutely. Oh, that's Saudi. Gentlemen. Sir. 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 As you can see, we've assembled 15 of you here for this prisoner snatch tonight. Sir. Let's get you across the river. Lieutenant Jones here is the ranking officer, and he'll be along as an observer. Okay. And if the house turns out to be empty, sir? It won't, but in any case, we know it's an outpost. We want to destroy it, so you have to lay some demo on a time delay. Yes, yes, sir. We will try. Right. Picture your assault team? McClung, Sisk, Cobb, Webster. Yeah. A little bit. All the attitude. Good. That's my team, sir. Attention. The German's as good as mine. Yeah? You said 15 men. There's 16 of us, including two translators. Come on, uh, hey, look that. You want to sit this one out? What? Damn, that's Saudi. Yeah. <laughs> you set for tonight? I'm ready. Those crowds are gonna catch some hell. So I hear. Just so stay in the rear and give them cover. Fifteen men crossing a river to capture prisoners from a German observation post. The same mission could be met with disaster and result in nothing more than fifteen Americans killed. Somebody coming. Who is that? Oh, my God. I mean, it's quiet at the moment. Gosh, here we go. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Ah. Oh, gosh, he didn't wait for his, for the grenade to go off. The charges, prime it, prime it. Shut up, you two, and pick him up. These two are gonna carry the wounded crowd. Where are you going? You move! Everybody moves out of my command! Are you ready? Are you ready? Shut up! You Power! That is scary. Shoot out! Cannot hear 
it. Oh, he did. Yeah, look at him escaping that. Oh my gosh. Keep moving. Come on, get in the boat. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's He's shot. Let's get these boats in the water. Come on, stop pulling. Light. Give me some light. Right, look. With the with the lighter. Okay, that's good. Yes. Oh, let's get him out of here. Take it easy. Oh God. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You're all right. Jackson. He can't breathe. Oh, he boiled from the inside. How? From the grenade. From the grenade. That makes sense. I just never seen it. Mm, mm, mm. His family, I'm sure, got a telegram from the War Department saying he died a hero. In just fact, a baby. Eugene lost his life on a stretcher and crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. He was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all. That hurts. And then the details he just said, like, straight like that. Private Jackson took a grenade for ag rushing the enemy OP. It was his own grenade. Turn it out. Thanks, sir. Yeah, well, they want another patrol tonight. What are you doing, cop? You leave someone in the bank? They did. Yeah. It's a third prisoner that was too far gone to bring back. You should put him out of his misery. I can't listen to it anymore. That's why I said just war and period just makes me want to cry. Ugh. I couldn't sit and hear somebody cry either. Yeah, this episode hurts. Yeah. That's what I thought, college boy. He just looked your way. Are you serious? Answer the question. Yes, sir, I am drunk, sir. Sick and tired of fucking patrols. Shut up. It's boring, okay? And he drinks more. Y'all did a damn fine job on a tough mission last night. Well, I wish you good luck tonight, because I'd be expecting more of the same. Why another one? In fact, I'm sure you remind them how proud I am of what they did. Yes, sir. Martin? Sir? Proud. I just saw Colonel Sink. He's proud, too. In fact, he's so proud, he wants you to do another patrol across the river tonight. Mm. Means we'd have to venture farther into town this time. Cam Spears, you have the map, please? Yeah. Sergeant Grant. We recovered all the boats, so we'll be setting off from the same place we did last night. We're not changing the plan any, sir. Good, because, uh... I want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. Hmm? Which means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river, German lines. So we're lying. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Okay. Sir, sir, sir. To be honest. Dan Jones. Sir, join us at the company CP. Your honorable discharge as an enlisted man. Just keep him coming, North. Yeah. Battlefield Commission is a second. Lieutenant yeah. Jones. Regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you, sir. So a second patrol never happened. Word was Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. And we all might make it home alive. Some of us. Some of us will. Promoted again? Oh, clears. Congratulations, Major. Yeah. He came a long way, too, since the first episode. Yeah. I wondered if people back home would ever know what it cost the soldiers to win this war. The standard of living was on the rise. You couldn't get a hotel room in Miami Beach. It was so crowded. Price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed. That's why I always say we can never really feel their pain, their struggle, their traumatization, because it's just like we are not there. You just, you just hear stories. You just watch the movies and the TV shows, and 
yeah that's not you see and you you try to understand but yeah it's a it's a bigger picture it's a crazier life you know soon they will be entering germany last patrol let's talk about it episode eight webster he rejoins the easy company at first they don't accept him they know he's been sitting at the hospital the re the rehab and all of that and it's just like well you don't even know i guess how we feel what we went through like i said he was too happy with all them smiles and just like no we are depressed we are numb it's not smiles this way um so they gave him a little hard time by his own by his own grenade like that was that was hard that was hard to watch it was hard to watch him saying i don't want to die oh it makes me emotional because who wants to die like and then knowing that you might you 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 99 percent chance going to die because medic isn't here like this it's not a real real hospital and even if it was it's just like your body can only take so much you can only take so much so it was hard to watch him cry for his life it was hard watching that and then to find out that he's 20 like that hurts more it hurts more so yeah i think we could describe this as as it was hard to watch almost all um, but but let's consider all the other episodes it was hard to watch too besides i think episode one because that was the start the beginning of it but more than that it was all the episodes it was hard watching it was emotional it was just like scenes that i couldn't imagine seeing in real life i couldn't even imagine seeing in real life so the last patrol we can check out the list we explored make sure you guys stay tuned for episode nine that one is why we fight and episode 10 that one is points Full length reaction will be in the link down description. Go help your homegirl out and explore the full length reaction.